now apart from performing some uh, normal actions on your application like uh, normal mouse and keyboard actions like a, a simple click or entering some text into a text box right so given while automating your application you will come across scenarios where you need to perform this advanced uh, user interactions for using the mouse and keyboard events like um, performing a double click performing a right click on particular element or uh, dragging and dropping something from uh, one place to another right so these kind of challenging applications where you need to perform these advanced user interactions this is possible uh, in selenium using the advanced user interactions api which provides two classes one is actions and one is action right and there are lots of different events which you can perform um, using the mouse and keyboard actions right so these are some of the most commonly used ones right so for mouse actions like double click performing double click on the element click and hold and drag and drop so these two you can use in conjunction to perf to drag a particular element first actually uh, you hold that element and then drag and drop to uh, drop it on a, another location right similarly uh, to hover over any particular element like a drop down menu to see to see its menu right so you can use this move to element so it will shift the mouse pointer to the center of the element then uh, performing the right click on an element using context click method right then some keyboard actions like send keys which we already saw uh, in previous videos then key up which performs a key release and key down which performs a key press without release so if you want to press the shift or control key and uh, uh, perform some other operations on the keyboard you can use this key down and key up in conjunction right so we are going to look at how we can use these different methods or to perform different e keyboard and mouse mouse uh, events using selenium on our application right so let's jump onto our uh, project which we have been using throughout this course and uh, we'll be using the same banking application for this demo right so I'm going to perform some user actions on this particular text box, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first move my mouse to this particular element, right? So hover over this element and then click on this, right? And then press the shift key and enter some text so that it enters it in capital letters, right? then press again do a key up so that the shift key is lifted right and then i do a double click on this and then perform a right click so that i can see the menu so this is these are all uh, all the actions which i'm going to perform on this particular text box right uh, we are not going to see drag and drop um, and click and hold because i i i can show this but it won't be act an actual application or actual scenario where i'm dragging and dropping something onto an application right so i don't have write that now but you can always use uh, the concepts which i'm going to explain you for all the other actions and you can use uh, these two similarly right so only the parameters will change but the way of uh, implementing it will remain same right so um let's jump on to our app uh, onto our project right so first of all uh, let me create an element for that particular text box right so i'm going to use the find element and by.id to identify that particular element so it is having a id value with username right now i'm going to use the actions class right uh, going to create an instance of it so that we can use it and new actions and we'll pass the driver instance here right so we're going to import the class which is the selenium interactions dot actions right then we are also going to use the action class right to build a series of actions right so series of actions equals to right so we'll be using the actions object which we created earlier and then we are going to build a series of actions so what are the actions we are going to perform right 
so we are going to do a move to element right uh, we'll pass the element here then we are going to click on that particular element then uh, we are going to do a key down right so key down and we'll pass the element and we'll pass a keys dot shift right then we are going to use send keys to enter some text here right and then we are going to do a key up so that the shift is lifted and keys dot shift so similarly you can use any um, keyboard action using keys right and then we are going to do a double click on the element so this and then finally we are going to do a um, context click right so and after you perform all the actions you just need to pass on this build so it is going to build your series of actions right after you finish this building then you need to use that particular action instance or series of actions which you created to perform the action so this build and perform are the two methods using which you can uh, perform a series of actions on a particular element, right? So this is how you design your actions class, right? To perform a series of actions on your element in your application. So let's check this out quickly. So it's going to go to that particular username text box, right? And it entered the text in capital letters using the shift key. Uh, then it double click to highlight their particular text. And then finally a context click or right click to show the menu, right? So this is the, all the actions which you performed simultaneously on a particular element. Now, this is not the only way to use actions class, right? So you can also use the actions directly the instance to perform any particular method right you can use any method to perform a single action on a particular element using this right so for example what i want to do is i want to move to element right and then i want to do a context click right so and then I just want to do a build dot perform, right? So you can just write it in a single line as well, like this. So both the ways are correct, right? You can either do it this way or you can do it this way in a single line. So it depends on what you prefer. So this is all uh, I wanted to show you in this particular demo where uh, we saw how to uh, do a series of actions uh, using the different events on our keyboard and mouse right so this quite is helpful um, in complex applications where you need to perform these advanced user interactions right so in the next section we are going to look at how to handle different kinds of pop-ups and alert boxes in selenium 